What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 8.2 Beta 2 untethered on any device on a Mac computer. So I did just show you this process on a Windows PC, and now I'm going to be showing you the entire process on a Mac computer. So from point A to point Z, I will be holding your hand until you do install Cydia on your device, and I gotta say there's a few things I need to tell you beforehand. So first off, we are going to be updating to iOS 8.2 Beta 2. No, you don't need a developer account, but it is still a beta firmware. It's not guaranteed to be 100% stable. It's at your own risk, but the risk is very little because you can always go back to iOS 8.1.3. Now I do have a full Cydia untethered working on a 8.2 beta 2 device, and I will be showing you this entire process. It's not that difficult at all. So the reason you'd primarily do this is because you're stuck on iOS 8.1.3 and you want a jailbreak. As you guys know, 8.1.3 will not receive a jailbreak, so it only makes sense that you you'd update to 8.2 and jailbreak it until the final release of 8.2 and the final jailbreak. This is kind of a hold me until I make it type of jailbreak. Now we're going to be using a modified version of the PP jailbreak tool. It works perfectly. I have tested it and you will end up with a jailbreak using a Mac computer on 8.2. I'm going to be showing you how to install this beta firmware. I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak and some troubleshooting steps in between. Now I would not do this if you were on iOS 8.1.2 or any lower firmware because 8.2 beta to jailbreak is kind of like a desperate attempt to jailbreak. It's really not something I would recommend if you're already jailbroken on a stable firmware. Most tweaks do work. However, not all tweaks are compatible. That's not a problem though, because many developers are rushing to release updates for this new beta jailbreak. So that's not a problem. Mostly everything is compatible. Cydia works. I haven't experienced anything out of the ordinary. Everything seems fine and this jailbreak is ready to go. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we do, I want to warn you guys, go into iTunes and back up all of your data on a local backup. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a sec. All right, so uh, here we are. I will be performing this jailbreak on my iPhone 5S version number 8.1.3. I'll be showing you how to update and then jailbreak. So before we do anything, this is crucial. I want you guys to go into iTunes and select this computer and back up your device now. I mean, it reduces all risk. So even if something doesn't work out and you want to go back, you still have all of your data. So no problem there. Anyways, once you guys have that backed up, go ahead and exit out of iTunes. And just to let you know, there really won't be any conflicts in iTunes. Everything does work perfectly. And if you guys are wondering why jailbreak, I will have a video right here that'll tell you pretty much everything about jailbreaking, the reasons why you'd want to do it. And I mean, if you guys are on the edge about doing this, otherwise there is very little risk involved as long as you have all of your stuff backed up. So we're going to need to download two things. One is the modified PP jailbreak and another is the iOS 8.2 beta 2 update you will be updating to. Now there's two places you can download all of these things. So one, click on the annotation right here. It'll take you to my website and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to navigate that or down below in the description. Anyways, so once you load that page, this is where it'll take you. And this is the unfinished guide, so it's not completely finished, but down here, download iOS 8.2 beta and PP jailbreak here. So you're going to want to click right there. And I didn't want to clutter up the article. So right here are all of the download links. You guys are going to need the Mac 8.2 beta jailbreak. And you can find that right there. And all of the beta 2 downloads are direct downloads. Now, if these don't work, there is a torrent search here, which you can find for torrents. But otherwise, I've got you guys covered. You have all the links here as well as the PP jailbreak firmware right here. So make sure to download all of this. I mean, the link is down below in the description or right there. And once you guys have those downloaded, they will look just like this. Now the PP jailbreak, you will not be able to run directly. You guys actually need to do it in a special way. And before I get there, there are several things we need to do to prepare our device for the jailbreak. So first off in settings, I want you guys to go down to iCloud settings and in here, sign out of iCloud, remove find my iPhone. If you guys can't do that, it is okay. I just recommend doing this. Of course, you guys can go back in after the jailbreak and sign in, as well as the touch ID and passcode. Remove this, remove any touch ID or passcode you have on your device. Yes, you guys can enable that after the jailbreak. Slide up, enable airplane mode. And if you guys have a lot of data on your phone, make sure to clear it out. I mean, if it's up to the brim with data, the success rate is gonna be lower than if it's a little bit cleared out. 
All right, so that's what you guys need to do to prepare your device for the jailbreak. Make sure it is plugged in and let's head over to our Mac computer. All right, so I want you guys to go ahead and open up iTunes. It does not matter if it's the newer version, this jailbreak is compatible with it. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and left click, check for update while holding the option key. And I wanna emphasize, click update. Do not select restore iPhone. If you restore it, the activation process will not work. Make sure you're only updating and that way you're keeping all of your data intact. So go ahead and select that. And right here is the download that I will be updating to. Actually, it's right here. So iOS 8.2 beta 2 firmware. And let's go ahead and select open. So you're going to get this prompt right here that'll ask you to update. My device is plugged in. Let's go ahead and select update. Now, if you guys get any sort of errors like 3194, it's because your host's file is messed up. It's really easy to fix it. There are many guides on the internet and uh, it's really easy to do that. Don't even worry about that. Now, otherwise, this should go smoothly. As long as you guys have a correct host's file, you should not see any kind of errors. But there are a couple other things you can do if you do have some errors. First off, restart your computer restart your iPhone and try again. Otherwise you can try it on another computer. Usually that does help. I don't know why, but sometimes it can help just to try it on a different PC. Now this will take about five to 10 minutes. Set your device aside and do not touch it. Once this is done, I will be right back. Now while that's updating, I just want to explain something. Uh, not all tweaks are going to work initially. Right now, I think around 60 to 75% of tweaks are compatible, but most developers, you know, they're gonna be updating it over the next couple of weeks. Don't even worry about it, guys. I know if some tweaks aren't initially compatible, but the compatibility does come very quickly. And iOS 8.2 is pretty much the same firmware as 8.1.3. There's very little different about it, except inside of Bluetooth settings, you now have a area which will take you to download the Apple Watch companion app. And that's the only difference. There has been no other noticeable change. So you guys are pretty much getting the exact same firmware as iOS 8.1.3. Okay, so my device is finishing up and I'll be right back. And there you go, the update has completed. As long as you guys did select update and not restore, you will not have any kind of activation issues. I'm perfectly on iOS 8.2 beta 2 right now. I have no issues. Now, if you guys do have activation issues because you restore, you can always restore back to 8.1.3 and start over again. I mean, there's really very little risk involved. Okay, so uh, let's head over to my Mac computer. I want you guys to go ahead and right click on PP and select show package contents. In here, open up the contents folder, go into Mac OS, and this is the program we're gonna run. Now, you might get a not trusted certificate if you don't do this, but right click and select open and you'll get this wall of text in terminal, and here is the prompt. So this is a modified version of PP to support iOS 8.2, beta one and two, but it does work. So I want you guys to uncheck this guy right here, you know, so you don't get any third party app stores, and go ahead and select the big button. Again, make sure your device is backed up and you have completed all of these steps in order to prepare for the jailbreak. All right, so uh, this is pretty much telling you about iCloud Touch ID and Airplane Mode. We already did that. Click Next, and the jailbreak process will begin. So it usually doesn't take longer than five minutes. If your device is stuck on the Apple logo, very simple, just hold both the power and home button for 10 seconds until it restarts on its own. Uh, doesn't mean anything's wrong, but sometimes it happens. In a second here, this will complete and I will be back. Here we go, my device has resprung. And in here is Cydia. So as you guys know, the very first time, it will take a while for Cydia to pack up. You guys can go ahead and sign back into iCloud, enable passwords, and enable Wi-Fi, of course. So this does usually take about three minutes. Your device will respring. All right, and my device has resprung. So now I have a working Cydia, and initially you really won't have anything in it until you go into the middle tab and hit refresh up here. It's gonna download all of the applications, all of the packages, and then you can start adding your own sources and installing tweaks. So like I did say, guys, not all tweaks are gonna be compatible initially. Also, you wanna upgrade this guy right here right away. The tweaks are gonna take a little bit of time for the developers to go ahead and update, but most of them are compatible at the moment. If you guys have any problems, the good thing is you can always go back to 8.1.3. Like I said, this is a very little risk jailbreak, nothing really to be afraid of. Now this is really great. The fact that you guys have been given a second chance if you've received 8.1.3 or updated accidentally, treasure it. Now I was 8.2 beta three and above cannot be jailbroken. As you guys know, this is only for the beta one and beta two firmwares. iOS 8.3 cannot be jailbroken. 
guard this firmware with your life. I mean, there is no second chance after this. So make sure to stay on these firmwares. Also, I will be keeping you guys updated. I know a lot of people will be jailbreaking using this method. So in the future, I'll be sure to explain how to jailbreak on the public release, how to update to that. Don't even worry about it, guys. I have you covered. If you guys are jailbreaking for the first time or you're just a beginner, whether you're a veteran or not, I have a ton of videos on jailbreaking tweaks, stuff that you guys can install after doing this jailbreak. So check out those videos on my channel. Make sure to subscribe. I'm always posting more and more tweaks. And guys, I do hope you enjoy your jailbreak. Check out all those videos on my channel to see how you guys can enhance your experience. Have a great day. Peace.